Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carlos with Smart Website here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, what I do is I develop websites for my small business clients here in the Valley and also nationwide. All right folks, what's our topic for today? All right, since um, I was able to fix the um, uh, index issues with Lovable, uh, as you can see here that uh, Pickleball Paddle Deck Club directory listing that I created, which is this one over here, it's now indexed by Google 15 pages here. All of this are indexed from September 28th to October 1st. So that was really fast, right? Let's uh, change this to 25. How many pages is that? That's a total of 15. All of those are indexed by j using the guide from Ben from Online Ninja AI. Um, I highly encourage you guys to join the community. I have a link below uh, that you can click on. It will be in the comment section. It's also going to be in the t description. Uh, it's a great um, uh, community. What we do is we help each other to fix um, website and SEO issues. So while the price is still low, I recommend that you guys uh, join us now. As you can see here again, I from the beginning, Ben has been replying to my messages, not only me, to me, but also to other members too. So if you can see here in the community, you'll see there's a lot of people who are um, commenting and sh uh, sharing ideas so all right so go back going back now so the next topic for today is since I already got my site index so the next topic that we are going to do is to make sure because we use Net I use Netlify right to host so I use lovable I use github I use Superbase, and I also use Netlif Netlify to host. So what Netlify does is host, it does the hosting for um, to render HTMLs so that uh, Google will be able to read the pages. Now with Google Cloud, I believe that is possible too, but don't quote me yet. Uh, we'll have a video about that once I'm sure that it works. But for now, this is, I know exact, I know that this really works. So now, like I said, right, um, the next, the topic now is since the pages are indexed, with Netlify, what happens is they bill you per usage. So you really gotta be careful when um, um, setting up Netlify. So you gotta make sure that you're blocking bots. You only want the, the Google bots or the Bing bots or the good bots to, to crawl your site. You don't want the bad bots because what's gonna happen is, for example, on this one over here, in the beginning, uh, what's that at? Website security, you'll see here, See here, there's a lot of traffic, right? 449 and um, 3,740 requests. That probably is including my edits too, but a lot of those are bots, right? So what I had to do is it was consuming my my, met, my bandwidth. It's like $20 a month. You gotta make sure that you only let a good bots and visitors to be able to crawl your site. So after the third, you can see here that it's being blocked now, right? Blocked by the firewall over here and the green ones are the ones that are real ones. Over here, see this? That's 252 was blocked. What I did is I blocked um, countries too, but I'll show you, I'll show that later. Um, but the problem with that is there are Google bots that are not in the US. So I removed that so that I don't have any issues with um, Google Search Console. So as you can see here now, that there's a lot of allowed now, right? There's still some blocks, but those are like real bots, right? You can see here 432, 12% is blocked, right? Um, so if you go here to, this is the pro, this is not enterprise. Enterprise is expensive, I can't afford that. So now you, you, what I do is I go to, before you even do this, you have to go to Lovable and create um, the robots.txt2 for both, um, you need to do a robots.txt and an edge function. So let me show you what I did with uh, robot, robots.txt. So what I did with robots.txt, right? So allow all official Google crawlers. That's Google inspection tool, ads bot, if you're gonna do Google ads, Google image, Google video, Google news, Google extended if for AI overview. You know, when you do a search on on uh, Google, for example, this is, this is awesome, right? Uh, if you say, what is pickleball paddle um, dot club? It's gonna do an AI overview, overview, hopefully. See, mine came out right away, and then you're at the very top, right? It's doing a, it's a speakable paddle club. It's a comprehensive directory website, so that that's my site right now. So AI is reading it, and then over here you'll see all the sites. So 
if we do this again, oh by the way, you'll see here that there's already yesterday it was 13, now it's 14 now. See that guys? It's just I just added this Dink and Nine Pinkle Park in here in Arizona in Mesa. I just added it yesterday. It got it got indexed right. I mean, after a few hours. I just added this yesterday. See this? So that's really awesome, right? So now um, let's go back to. So I did. I showed you guys the robots.txt, which is this one. So you guys can do this if you want to follow what mine is exactly set. Feel free to follow it. You just have to let Lovable. Uh, you just have to let Lovable know. I create a robots.txt, um, and then copy and paste this. As long as you follow my first video, the guide here in School Ninja by clicking on the link below, you'll be able to get it to work. Um, all right, so we're done with robots.txt, right? The next one, what you need to do is, um, so in the code here, so this is the Netlify Edge function. You have to create a bot-blocker.ts over here. So what I did was create a bot, bot block, bot block, dash blocker dot ts edge function that blocks malicious bots while allowing legitimate search engine. So uh, I I I request I ask Lo Lovable to create this. So he Lovable created that folder over here. You might see some stuff that he created, um, that it created over here. Just make sure to delete all those. What you need is this one over here now. How this works is this is the one for the edge function that allows all legit crawlers for me. This is what I'm allowing. All right. And this is what I wanted to block because I don't want this. It's up to you guys what you want to put in. But for me, this is more for now, it's just more 80%. But there are other bots that are being created daily. So this is what I, do, I did for, for myself. You can do whatever you want on your end. And then for the ones that are being uh, blocked, it's going to come back with a four or three. So the way to test this, guys, is let me show you guys how to test this. So you run PowerShell on the on your Windows computer. Um, you run PowerShell as um, admin or not admin doesn't matter. So here, just paste this. It's called invoke. So as you can see here, um, I did RF's bot here, which is that one over there. I want. I don't want. Um, uh, I want. I don't want Arif's bot to crawl my site, so it went back with a four or a three forbidden, right? But if I see, if I use this one, if for a Google bot, this is what I pasted. As you can see, it came back with the two hundred. Okay, that that means Google is acknowledging that it's good, that it's it won't be that it's not being blocked, so it will crawl your site. So basically, you're just avoiding. Um, of bad bots to be able to crawl your site using um, Netlify. So it's really a great tool. Um, so that's it guys. I just want to share that to you guys that um, uh, the um, number one is the step-by-step -step guide from Online Ninja works. Number two is um, with Netlify too you n on how to um, block bots. Oh, I forgot one more thing. After you create this, after you you add this so what I did was here after you created a folder then I said I want this to be applied to the bot dash blocker dot ts so I copied and pasted this and after that um, I also don't forget this update bot blocker dot ts with your simplified uh, hold on oh no that's from lovable oh yeah th this one too right um, this I said I'll um, I need to do this I said I'll add the edge function conf configuration for bot dash blocker dot ts to netlify dot toml that file so you want to make sure you you add this um this one over here so i validated i said was this already added to netlify dot toml and it came back that says yes after that you publish it and then you should be good to go uh with uh going back to the results that we tested earlier so all right um one more thing with netlify uh, what you can do here is um, for firewall traffic, web application firewall is you can you you can't configure it with the pro version. Um, the pro version, by the way, is twenty dollars a month. After that, it's it went up. I I won't tell you guys the price because I don't want. I think Netlify is don't want to let anybody know. But I spoke to someone over there and it's expensive. I just can't afford it for now. 
anyway, so <laughs> um, we'll see. Anyway, uh, so here, as you can see here, upgrade to unlock to enterprise um, um, upgrade. So if you go back here and you go to firewall traffic, you could figure. Here you can also um, uh, restrict um, geographic location like countries. I did this, but I it it didn't work good for me. Like I said, there are other Google bots that are outside of the U.S. that you really don't want to block. So what I did is I just did the um, the um, this one over here. Okay. All right. Uh, like I said, this works. So um, feel if you like this video, feel free to like, follow, and uh, subscribe. All right. I hit that uh, hit that uh, bell so that. When new videos comes out, you'll be able to to be notified. All right, thanks guys. You have a great day. Bye.